This is a seam ripper. It comes packaged like a little black plastic bullet is usually found in the sewing section of stores. It has one end that's super, super sharp. This end has been known to cut the tips of your fingernails and cause all types of damage. I would not use this to take my locks out. Yes, you see it. It's a wooden cuticle pusher. The tip does not damage your fingers. However, the wood can cause your hair to break. I would definitely avoid this item. A screwdriver set I actually found in the craft store. This is an item also that I would not use simply because it will break your hair off. Now mind you, I didn't have anyone to tell me which item is best to use. That's why I'm making this video so you can avoid my mistakes. A crochet hook found in your local beauty supply store. A hook with a latch. You can open the latch and the hook part can be used to pick locks out. This item may be very well for people who have very small locks. However, this item did not work for me. My locks were the size of a pencil and more often I was breaking my hair off. Use this one with caution. Yes, this is dental tools that you can find at your local drugstore. This set was called the Dentec Professional Oral Care Kit. It contained three tools that you could use for your dental care. Um, however, this end would be good to pick locks out because it was plastic. And here's another tool that can be used to take locks out. Again, it's Dentec. This end is called the Dental Scaler. This end is called the Dental Pick. Both ends can be harmful to your fingertips. I tried it all. Here is a thimble that you can use to protect your fingers. However, when you use a thimble on your fingers, it's very difficult to feel your hair or any types of knots that might be in your hair. So it will protect your fingers. However, you'll have limited sensation in your fingertips. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what this item is. I found it at the craft store at Michael's. However, it turns out to be an excellent tool to use to pick your locks out and very safe for your hair and your fingertips. Here we have another item that I found at my local craft store. It looks like a little blue hook. Here is the name of it. This item is an excellent tool to use to take your locks out. But this tool is very safe to use on your hair because the ends are sort of blunt and not sharp. It will not damage your fingertips. Using this tool creates a two-step process. A hook to pick and then you will need a comb to detangle. Paper clip. This item was okay for taking my locks loose. However, the paper clip was really too small for my hand grip. Also at my local beauty supply store, I found these items that look like sort of stick pins, I thought. And when I actually opened up the package, I realized that these little items were actually too soft and bendable to help you pick out a lock. Also, the ends of this tool were jagged and squared and just uneven and it could simply break your hair off. A rat tail comb is the best item to use to take your locks down. Now all rat tail combs are not created equal. And a rat tail comb where the tail is no longer to three to three and a half inches long. Also you have a rounded tip and not a sharp tip. So you want to test your rat tail comb out in the store. Some rat tail combs actually have blunt ends that could break your hair off. I actually use the Diana comb throughout my entire process with no damage to my hair or any types of cuts and scrapes on my fingertips. That was very important to me. The white Diana comb at the top was the perfect size for my hand.